Coffee. Oh, thanks. So, what's the plan for the vacations? Are we going abroad this time? Uh, abroad, I don't think will be possible this time. Also, uh, we can go somewhere nearby. Uh, maybe next time we can go. You don't give me the same story again and again. You never have the budget. I don't want to go with you. So let it be. See, listen. Have a look at this dress. Has it? Yeah, it's good. But uh, don't you think it's a bit expensive? Uh, what about this one? This is also good. Why do you have to always crib about money? You don't want me to buy it? Fine, I'm not buying it. No, listen, I'm. Listen, I'm. I'm. Fine. So you pick me up in the evening from here only. Yeah. Okay. You remember I was telling you about this one house which looks really pretty and nice. Yeah. That is the one, the white one. Oh, it's nice. So, when are we going to buy our house? Maybe in few years. With your job, I doubt we are ever buying a house. Anyway, pick me up. This is a story of a middle class couple. Wife in this story is negative and sad of being poor until she meets one of her rich friends. Let's see what happens in the story. Shimona? Ruchika! Hi! Hey, hi! So, how are you? How's life? Life is good. I mean, there's nothing so special about it. Like, I'm just an ordinary homemaker who takes care of her family, her husband. Nothing exciting about life. But you tell me, why didn't you come to the school reunion? Oh, I wasn't here. I was with my husband. He's from London, and most of the times so we are traveling. Oh, so but now you are in Delhi. So where are you staying? I have a house here also, Bungalow number six, Jorbag. Jorbag. That's such a posh area. Oh my God, I'm so happy for you. I mean, you're doing so well in your life, and you are happy. It's it's really nice. Happy. When did I say that? I mean. Come on, you have got everything somebody can ever ask for: husband, money, traveling, what not. So you think that being rich makes you happy? Yeah. Why? What's wrong with that? <laughs> Shimona has traveled the world, but all alone. And all these branded things that you're talking about—they're just a compensation for spending my birthdays, my anniversary, and almost every day all alone. Can you imagine yourself living in a big bungalow, but all alone? Wait a minute. So you are telling me that in spite of having all the money, you are not happy? I have to take this. We'll talk about this some other time. But, sure. but you know, I am really happy for you. At least you have your family and husband who are there for you, who are taking care of you. So. Let it be. We'll talk some other time. Bye. Bye. Take care. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you? Office. Why? Oh. No. Actually, I just called to say that. Thank you so much. I know you're working really hard to make things work, and I just want to say that I really appreciate. Okay. Okay. I'll see you in the evening. Come early. Yeah, I'll try. Bye. When I was a kid, I always thought things which money can buy is going to make me really happy. So when I was small, I always wanted a bicycle. And when I got a bicycle, I wanted a a motorbike after some time. It made me happy for a few days, but then I wanted a motorbike. Then I owned a motorbike. It made me happy for a few days again, and then I wanted a car, and then I wanted a bigger car. So all I'm trying to tell you is, all these things which are materialistic are going to make you happy for a very short period. All this is just temporary. When you'll own it, you won't even value those things. As the famous saying goes, 
money can buy you the most luxurious beds in the world but no money can buy you good sleep so all i'm trying to tell you is value the relationships the people who are around you people who are spending time with you people who are there with you that is your real strength that is your real money if you can save if you can nurture if you can grow then grow that money that's it for this story see you next friday khuda hafiz and be positive